blueberry muffins, lasagna, breakfast burrito bowl, and nachos all served in bowls the size of your head. A great success! What is up people, welcome back to another video. A new full day of eating for you to follow to lose fat, including new healthy, high volume, high protein meals, eating out of bowls the size of your head. So yeah, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to your channel, and without further ado, let's not waste any more time and dive straight into what you're gonna need for meal number one. So you're gonna need some juicy tomatoes, some onions, so either red or white, a big ass bunch of romaine lettuce. Of course, you could go for spinach or any sort of low calorie green, but yeah, lettuce today. Next is gonna be some sort of potato, a big ass bag of sliced mushrooms. Next Next is gonna be some eggs, some turkey bacon. So yeah, you could go for some of the bacon medallions I normally get, but yeah, turkey bacon today. And finally, some fat-free cheese. And I already know you're gonna say, but that's reduced fat cheddar cheese. Look, I know, okay? But the macros are gonna be based on cheese that is fat-free because Ireland seems to be the only country that doesn't have access to fat-free cheese. So yes, that is literally everything you're gonna need for the first meal. So it's gonna be a BLT breakfast bowl of peace, the size of your head. And you know what? It's not actually that difficult to make at all. So we don't even need Mr. One Take Kid and some sexy B-roll. We just need to get straight to it. So here we go, bowl the size of our head numero uno. I'm not messing around here. So we have pretty much the whole head of romaine lettuce seasoned up with some Frank's red chili lime hot sauce. But this is where the magic happens. So we have two pans on the go. One with a huge scramble with like the mushrooms, onions, tomato, a little bit of spinach in there and we put some hot chili powder. And then another one, we chopped up the potatoes into like really small cubes just to trick yourself into thinking you're like eating more and then mix it with the turkey bacon. And that is frying up nicely with a bit of garlic salt and oregano. So you know the deal. Bish, bash, bash, one BLT breakfast bowl the size of your head finito, but not yet because you know what we have to add? That's right, a sprinkly dinkly do of the cheese on top that's gonna melt up nicely and that is gonna be your bowl. Beautiful. We are starting with a bang family. Look at this bowl, I am not messing around. It is literally the size of my head, okay? So as always, the description and the amounts will be linked down below, but this is an absolute whopper. To be honest, this one is actually in my recipe book as well. So yes, if you want access to this and a shitload more other high volume recipes, then go click the link down below. It'll literally take you like half an hour to eat. You got crispy bacon, some nice little potatoes, and then just veggies and everything for health. I mean, it's a complete breakfast. So that is gonna be that. Now let's move on to your next meal, which is probably gonna be your lunch. But firstly, as this is also sort of a vlog, I thought I would take you along my day and we are at the if we on push because I have another parcel, which apparently I missed the delivery of. So I don't want to keep you long, but through the power of YouTube. Oh! Okay, that worked perfectly. And I have a surprise because I have no idea what this is. I do obviously know what this is, but let's quickly open them. Christmas time, mistletoe and wine. Once again, yes, we got, to, I don't want that stuff. <laughs> this is what I want. Again, link below for all the skinny syrups. You've actually been buying quite a few of them by the looks of it. But here we go. So we have a chocolatey one. We have a custard one. Definitely rate this one. It's nice and sweet. Then also a billionaire shortbread one. Again, highly rated if you like shortbread. I love shortbread, but realistically, the macros do not favor bodybuilding. Now this one, guys, the toasted marshmallow. Oh my God. <laughs> Highly rated once again. And then it was spend over 10 euro and you get a free salted caramel. So this is actually really good too. So that is the skinny syrup order. Five syrups, that should pretty much last me about three days. <laughs> now let's move on to this, it's from China. So I'm sort of scared to open it for you know, the C virus and stuff. Oh, no! <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> okay, it's pretty mangled, whatever it is. What the hell? It's in Italian, guys, as well. Altre forme disponibili. What is it, though? I have no idea. Oh, I think this is actually a present from my mum. This is why it's Italian. You know the arancini recipe I made with the cauliflower rice? Apparently, it's one of those. Oh, my days, fam. It looks quite rude. What is that? That, 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 that I hope that doesn't go where I think it does. <laughs> So you have your arancini there. Again, you saw it in the, oh, I wish I was using it today, but no, maybe save it for another video. So yes, you put the rice sort of in there and then you just like put it on top apparently, I think. And then it just sort of makes it into a circle. And then you get this thing and you just go like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, oh. Actually, I don't know why you need to put a hole in it, but okay, thanks mom. <laughs> yeah, she did say she had a present for me. So that's probably it. But anyway, 
that is the sort of delivery of the day. Now let's move on with this meal plan and move on to the next meal and the ingredienti that you're gonna need. Boom! The first thing you're gonna need, some tomato pasta sauce. And actually, here's a pro tip. I get asked this all the time. When it comes to picking a sauce, I always look at the value per 100 grams. So a good sauce is like anything. Look at that one, 39. Anything under 50 calories per 100 grams, in my opinion. You can see this is like 96, 101. And then this is like a pasta baked one, like 114. Anyway, once again, you're gonna need some onions. So again, red or white. Another big ass bag of mushrooms. Again, you'll need your fat-free cheese, but this time you will We'll also need a thing of fat-free cottage cheese. And we are in business, guys. The reduced aisle coming in clutch. The next ingredient you're gonna need, turkey mince, reduced from 359 to 250, perfect. Then you're gonna need some beans, red kidney ones if you can. And the final ingredient you're gonna need, you see that up there, the brogies, but we have a bit of a problem. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh my God, she is hooking us up with hella brogies. <laughs> okay, so that is gonna be the last ingredient you're gonna need. So without further ado, this recipe is a little bit more complex. So you already know, cue some sexy B-roll and Mr. One Take Kid in three, two, one. And here we go. I'm all alone again under my covers in my makeshift sound booth. <laughs> here we go. I'm already gonna mess up. But anyway, I've already messed up. I already know I'm gonna mess up, but oh, okay, let's just get to it. Ingrediente and list of all, everything you need, whatever, will be down below in the description box. So the first thing you're gonna do is prep up your turkey. Okay, so you put it in a wok uh, along with the sliced vegetables, the tomato sauce, and then your beans. Okay, you're pretty much making up a turkey chili. Again, pretty common feature <laughs> in these full day of eatings you can do it with beef or whatever but it's an absolute game changer you can't really ever get sick of it and you can switch up the veggies and stuff and make it different so yes you're going to let them saute nicely and that is going to be your base to this mix then you get a casserole dish the size of your head pour that in and then you get your brogies and you're going to like um split them up into sort of nacho sort of shapes you don't really have to but i like to sort of make it into sort of triangular shapes or whatever uh, and then you shove those in as if like they're like dipped in like you, you see like so time lapse <laughs> okay then you're gonna top that with the cottage cheese and the cheddar cheese and then pop that under the grill to melt uh, all of the cheese and that is pretty much your recipe right there it's very very simple again a monkey could do this um yeah I don't really know what to say. If you're watching, I really do appreciate you listening to this absolutely horrific <laughs> voiceover that I've butchered. But yes, let's watch me put it under the grill like so to melt up the cheese. Actually, this comes out really good, guys. The brogies are nice and crispy and you can like dip it into the chili. It comes out kaboom. But anyway, goodbye. Familia Mexicana, donde estamos? Look at this, the nacho bowl of peace, all the cheese melted up, and again, a casserole dish the size of your head. Again, this one is also in the recipe book. Again, that is gonna take you a long time to eat. It's gonna keep you nice and full. We got the crispiness of the brogies. And yeah, overall, a very good lunch or dinner even. So yeah, that is gonna be that. Now let's move on to your dinner. But before we do, I need to take you somewhere. I don't think I've ever taken you before on the Chanel. Yes, people, this is a scene and a half. We have a lovely empty beach there. Can anyone guess where we're off to? <laughs> if you're Irish, you probably can. Here is another clue. We are at Dublin Port. God, it's looking beautiful. We're coming up to the toll, about to waste however much money on just getting through this stupid thing. <laughs> what an absolute rip-off, okay? They must literally make a fortune out of that thing. But look at this, we are crossing the bridge. Trip around Ireland, here we go. I am Tourman Scott. Welcome to Dublin. As you can see, straight ahead is the, oh, look at that moon or sun or whatever it is. Oh shit, I need card. Which one do I go in for card? No, wrong one. Oh god, oh god, this is not good. I need to reverse. Oh shit! While Patchy pulls himself together, let's see how SpongeBob's party is shaping up. We made it, people. So as you can see, the very famous landmark here, the Dublin Port Tunnel, where I am going to get caught speeding. <laughs> so yes, the Port Tunnel, a very famous landmark built by St. Patrick himself back in 1905. <laughs> 
And just like that, we are out, but there's the sign. Can you guess where we're going? Oh my God, we're at 80 kilometers per hour. I think this is like the fastest my car can ever go. It literally feels like a go-kart about to explode. But anyway, at the end of this transition, you will see who we're gonna pick up at the aeropuerto. Here we go. I have no other friends, so of course, it's Mama and Papa Murray. Look who it is. The Oompa Loompas. <laughs> they survived. Their trip. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> what? It looks all flash in you. No. Jesus, you're brown as hell. Yeah. Jesus, dad is looking Jesus, very brown. Jesus, you're white as hell. <laughs> Look at this comparison, guys. Casper the ghost versus Mr. Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa Doompa Mom's in the back. Kerry <laughs> was brilliant. Oh! Her staycation was fabulous. The weather was beautiful. It wasn't Kerry. They were in Italy. Of course, Mr. Loner didn't go. I had to look after the house. But anyway, here we go. Now hit the screen. Okay, taxi duty finito. And let's get back to providing you some value. So this is going to be your dinner, okay? I didn't go through the ingredients, so let's go through them. We have tomato sauce, a whole bag of peppers, fresh tomatoes, some cheese. Then we have leeks, some lean beef, a huge butternut squash, and like a medley of vegetables, okay? So this meal is going to be a big ass lasagna of peas. Familia Italiana, dove siamo? And again, this is slightly more complex. So you already know. Cue the sexy B-roll. And Mr. Wante Kid in 3, 2, 1. Oh my god, guys. Okay, we're keeping this real on this channel, okay? So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. But basically, I'm under my covers in this makeshift sound booth. And let's just say, <clears throat> something has happened that you do not want to be enclosed in a tight space with. And it is rather smelly. <laughs> oh, god. Okay, here we go. Like I said, making up chili again is pretty much the same stuff with different ingredients so uh, you get all of your ingredients you put that and that is going to be your base to the lasagna inside of a wok and let everything saute again i'm starting to like oh jesus christ that smell is bad <laughs> okay and then you get your slicer okay back on track you get your slicer this is going to be the game changer okay you get your button of squash you're going to remove all of the stringy horrible hairy pubic hair looking <laughs> like bits oh dear god and then you're gonna slice that into sort of sheets like so okay you can see they're nice and thin then you're gonna get a casserole dish the side of your head pour your mix in once it's done and then you're gonna layer it like lasagna so again just go like uh, butternut squash layer and then meat layer butternut squash layer until you've pretty much used everything just like a lasagna but macro friendly and lower in calorie then you're going to top that with cheese and then put it in the oven to bake okay it's very very simple okay oh jeez i can't breathe family <laughs> uh, but there we go that is the final product finito enjoy goodbye guys i really don't know what to say la lasagna al forno gigante come la tua testa è pronta <laughs> that means the oven lasagna the size of your head is ready and look at this bad boy you will literally take an hour to eat this one it's an absolute whopper you know we save more calories for later on in the day so we don't go to bed absolutely hungry and speaking about later on in the day you're probably asking is that it no of course we need to have a macro cap or something sweet okay so man is hooking you up with a nice little dessert and that is gonna be a blueberry muffin of peace. Look at that, oh no, wait. It does look hella, hella good, but when you're on 1,900 calories, this really can't fit in it, okay? But I am a magician, okay? As you can see, in terms of calories, you're pretty much nearly coming in at like 345 calories for this measly sized muffin. But where there's a will, there's a way, guys. And Mr. Macroman over here has already gone and made up a blueberry muffin recipe that's high in volume, high in protein, and far lower calorie than this one. So here we go. Once again, this is a super, super easy one, so no sexy B-roll needed, but we have some blueberry yogurt because that's gonna complement some fresh blueberries. Then we have some baking powder, some oats, almond milk, link down below, and then some eggs. So the next thing to do is blend it up into a batter. Again, the quantities will be listed down below. And then of course, we pop them in the muffin tray of peace. Again, these are gonna explode up, I think, but we have six of them. Come over to the oven which has been preheated. Transfer them to the oven carefully without spilling everything in the middle. Close it up and you know the deal. Bish, 
Bosh, bosh, golden brown. Look at these bad boys. Respect the volume. They have puffed up beautifully, just as we expected. And those are gonna be your macro cappers. Two of them, perfecto. Seriously, I think your man has done pretty well today. But yes, that is gonna be your macro capper. And if you do make these, or if you've bought the rest of your book and you try to make them, you'll know. Uh, ideally, let them sort of sit now, just for like maybe five to 10 minutes to cool down before you take them out. <laughs> So yes, that is your full day of eating complete. And you know what? Once again, the leftover life once again tomorrow is going to be also real. But look at all this food. Imagine all of that in your belly and still being able to lose fat. Most of you like probably wouldn't even be able to eat this much. So yes, hella volume. The king has done it once again. Mm, bosh, that is going to be the end of the video, unfortunately. But please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. It really does help the channel to grow. And I know you love these videos. And man is hooking you up with all kinds of healthy recipes. Again, please do try it out. Let me know if you like it. If you want more recipes, then consider picking up the high volume recipe book. But for now, that's the end of this video. Comment below if you like this series and I will see you all in the next one. Boop.